Ooh, what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of project 3s gte today uh we're about getting ready to go take a trip to lowe's real quick over in millville gotta go get a couple bolts that i need to mount the engine onto the engine stand so let's get to it right away Got our bolt here for our stand. Let's go pay, check out, and get up out of here. All right, we have success. Just got out the Lowe's. I got four bolts. They are M12, 125 by 80. Exactly the size that the bell housing bolts needed for the 3S GTE, which I found out from the MR2 forum. So let's go home and try to mount the engine onto the stand. There's the black Yoda. So. All right, well, welcome back to the 3S GTE. Still sitting here looking good as ever. I guess first thing that we have to do is find out if this bolt size that I got from uh, from Lowe's is the actual bell housing bolts that I need to get the to get the engine mounted up onto the engine stand I don't know I'm already starting to see that they might be a little short but let's take a look here It's a good thing I saved the receipt because I think I got 80 millimeter ones. I should have got like 120 millimeter ones. From the look of it. Let's take a look here. I don't want to rip the bag too much in case I got to return them and exchange them for longer ones, but I don't know. Because <clears throat> the issue that I see here is trying to get it into here. See, that's not that's not going to work. That is not gonna work unless I switch these bolts up. But yeah, I need way longer ones than that. Damn it. But let's at least find out if it's the right thread. And it is definitely not the right size bolt it is on the transmission side but these are not the right size bolts to get it on here ah that sucks and they're off by they're off by quite a bit as you can see there they're not they're way too big way too big Look, way too big. These aren't these aren't the right size. I don't think. Shit. Yep, they're not the right size at all. Ah. Well, that just about ruined the episode, didn't it? I'm gonna have to exchange these bolts. They're just they're too big. They're too wide. Is the funny thing is that I got the size for these bolts off of a forum post back from 2011 from another guy that was doing a, a project and he was mounting his 3S onto his engine stand and some guy confirmed that this was the size to mount it up so I guess he was wrong or either they weren't using a fifth generation I'm not sure but these are definitely not the bolts I'm thinking that the bolts are the ones that are going to be, yeah, I know which bolts they are. Let's go give it a shot. I'm going to go grab the 
the bolts that I have inside. I think those are the ones that we need. <clears throat> Figures that I would get the wrong size bolts. Nothing ever works for me on the first try, man. But I'm going to go inside and try these other bolts that I have and see if those are the right size at least. So then I can exchange these. Alright, just went inside and grabbed some more bolts that I have for the project. These are genuine Toyota bolts. I believe these are the flywheel bolts and the bell housing bolts. These right here, which I believe are the ones that are the correct size. So let's take a look here. I mean, it's not 100% important that I get the engine mounted up onto the engine stand right now, considering I have so much other stuff to do, but it is kind of important to get it up there because I do want to get some stuff painted um, that would make the whole thing a lot easier um, I also want to take a look at this oil pan make sure that it's in good shape so it is kind of important that I do get it up on the engine stand soon <laughs> I wanted to do it today so let's take a look and see if these are the Yeah, I can already tell as you can see these are genuine made in Japan Toyota bolts. I can already tell that these are going to be too small. But I do think that these are the right size. I just need them to be way longer. So let's take a look here. I should have just went with these. That forum post messed me all up. I don't know what 3S GTE those guys were mounting up. But it's definitely not this one. It didn't fit at all. It's definitely not the, the fifth gen, I should say. Let's see the look there. There you go. Perfect. bolt it right up onto the engine side and let's try it onto the transmission side I keep going to this one bolt here because that's the only one that I see that has a thread on it but there we go so basically in order for me to get the engine mounted up onto the engine stand I gotta get four of these same size bolts but longer ones because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to get that on here as you can see there's just no way even if I would to switch this up it's just there's just no way I need any longer ones so that will have to have to get saved until another episode maybe the next episode oh that totally sucks but i'm gonna go right inside and i'm gonna make sure that i get these same exact bolts but longer ones they gotta be at least they gotta be at least 120 millimeters to go through there if anybody knows who's uh who's done a 3s gte project before um let me know what length i need to get uh to get the engine mounted up onto the engine stand i know it's this this is the bell housing bolts to mount the transmission onto the engine but i need these longer so let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas any recommendations i greatly appreciate it and many of you are have been asking me recently uh that they've never seen a 3s gte front wheel drive before that to their knowledge they only knew that it was rear wheel drive or all wheel drive but uh yeah this is a front this is gonna be the car's gonna remain front wheel drive um i'm mounting it up to a toyota celica gt transmission um it's basically the same transmission that toyota used in the v6 camry solaras um the earlier 90s uh camry v6s that they were available in a five speed it's a pretty pretty good transmission it's pretty durable it's not as good as the one with lsd but it's i believe it's the s54 transmission and uh from all the research that me and dustin have done it's going to be good up to 
400 horsepower so I'm not gonna be anywhere near that anytime soon so I'll be I'll be pretty good with the transmission as long as everybody tells me that I'll be fine with it as long as I don't launch too hard but I'm gonna mount that transmission up to the engine along with the competition clutch uh, stage 2 flywheel from Prime Driven and the uh, South Bend clutch stage 2 also from Prime Driven now this is a custom flywheel and clutch from Prime Driven that they sell that allows this transmission to be used with the Turbo 3S GTE engines so that's the way that uh that's the way that I've been able to that I'm gonna that's the way that I'm gonna be able to do the whole project if it wasn't for their custom clutch and flywheel little kit there I wouldn't be able to use this transmission with the 3S but thanks to them I'm gonna be able to get the whole the whole thing done so that's how you get a front wheel drive setup 3S GTE just in case anybody was wondering because I have had many people ask me uh, that they've never seen the front wheel drive 3S GTE well you're about to see <laughs> but it's been done before it's not like this is something new that I've like it's not like I'm the only one that's done this before uh, it's been done before so this is how they're all doing it also, I'm sure I've mentioned it before that I'm sure everybody knows that the Corolla, the Black Yoda is automatic. It's always been automatic. Um, according to statistics, 96 and 97 Corollas, out of all of them sold, 92% were automatic. So it's very rare to see a 96 or 97 Corolla DX with the 7AFE manual transmission. So my car's been, uh, my car's been automatic for forever. It's always been automatic but this in this box here which i'm sure i've mentioned in other episodes uh we have the hardware to make the car manual from a uh from the ae 101 9397 corolla uh not everything but like this here is from a celica gt this is the transmission cables and hardware to mount the transmission onto the car over here we have part of the clutch pedal clutch pedal and a new brake pedal out of a this is out of a Corolla 9397 AE101 and then here is going to be my new shifter which I am going to clean up all this rust off I'm going to make it look really good but that's also out of a Corolla I mean no excuse me that's also out of a Celica Celica GT so yeah this ugly shifter this is going to look really really good once we go inside I'll take a look and I'll show you guys what what new goodies I have a nice little tower of boxes inside with more to come that completely sucked really wasn't what I had planned for an episode for today but hey that's the stuff that's what you gotta expect when you're doing a project like this I've had many people also tell me they're also wondering hey man why is the engine still in the car this that and the other it's taking so long to do the whole project but when you're doing a project like this man a custom job like this and when it's basically just me and my friend Dustin doing all the work he, although I've had many people helping me uh, throughout the process um, when it comes down to it the only ones that are doing this is me and Dustin so it's gonna take time and with stupid little things like this with the bolt that I just got the wrong size those are the kind of things that hold up a project like project 3s GTE but eh, I'm not complaining like I said I'm in no rush. I want to do things right. I don't want to rush things and do things ghetto. I want to do things right. So therefore, I'm in no rush. The engine will come out when it will come out. And the new one will go in when it will go in. In the end, she'll get done. With 300 wheel horsepower. And I can't wait. Let's go inside and take a look at what I got for her so far. Okay, so since I don't really have much of an episode i figured i'd catch everybody up on a little bit of parts that i've ordered and have started to arrive for the black yoda and project 3s gte a couple of them i've already had for a while uh this is a rev limiter 
that I've had for quite some time uh, that I'm actually going to try to get installed onto the 3S GTE. Uh, me and my buddy Pete actually tried to get it put onto the 7 AFE a while back, but it wasn't compatible with that engine. So, But the 3S GTE was on the list, so we're going to get that to work. Uh, this is just stuff from Prime Driven. And in here, in this box, is probably one of the most important parts of the whole entire project. Um, I waited four months for it, and it arrived last, I believe it was last Tuesday that it arrived. Let's take a look, Let's see what's inside. I'm sure everybody knows already what's in here, but I posted it on Instagram. But in here we have the brand new wire harness and ECU for the black yoda and i just wanted to show you guys the outstanding job that wire gap did for me and uh yeah if you take a look in here this is a fully converted uh wire harness and the best part is that every single sensor is individually labeled which was great that's going to be a huge help as you can see there tag ah oh, great yep so that there is the wire harness brand new he did such a good job wrapping everything up in here it looks oem that's exactly what exactly what i wanted and then here we have the new converted fully converted ecu so what's special about this ecu for the fifth gen 3s gte is that from toyota it has a, a security feature it's an immobilizer and uh, he had to go in there and convert that and take that out and then also he had to go into the ecu and uh and convert it from because this was an automatic all-wheel drive ecu the engine came out of an all-wheel drive automatic 2007 Toyota Caldina, but now it's all set up for manual transmission and it also has had the immobilizer taken out. So I just wanted to take a second to thank Wire Gap for doing an outstanding job and uh, everybody who recommended me to them. Thank you very much. Okay, next up here we have I ordered a shift boot cover. Because I don't really like the 7th Gen Corolla shift boots. The OEM ones, that plastic rigid one, I don't really like that one. So I got this one, TRD, leather with the red stitching. Should match my wheel real nice. And then, of course, I also had to get to replace that ugly shifter that I just showed you guys outside. I got me the matching TRD shifter for it. So I can't wait to get that on the car. Okay, and under this box... Shout out to the Black Yoda sponsor, Spoiler King. We have the new duckbill wing that I was talking about on one of the recent episodes as well that they sent me. Can't wait to get that bad boy on there. I'm going to be putting all of this on the car. I'm going to be putting that on there. Put the stickers. I'm going to be wrapping them strong. Spoiler King. Thank you very much. I can't wait to see that on the car. Okay. And on this last box, another very important, awesome part that I got really recently. These are the same headlights and corner lights, the JDM ones that the car already has. But these are glass. And that makes them fantastic, as you can see. They're not plastic, they're glass. The plastic ones, although they're a great price, um, they don't last long at all. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys noticed. I think I showed it already in one of the prior episodes, but uh, they don't last. I, they, they look like they've been on the car for 10 years, and I've had them on the car for maybe a year and a half or two. And they look very old, but these, these little setup here uh, should be good. You can tell they are genuine uh, .SAE FX yeah fantastic can't wait to get those on the car also
I can't wait to get everything on the car to be honest, but those are just a couple of the parts that I've had stacked up here to get installed on the car, so I figured I'd get everybody updated. Also, I also ordered, I believe it was just, yeah, just yesterday I ordered because my car doesn't have the tack on it. So I ordered the cluster OEM 9397 uh, USDM cluster, but with the tack on it and it's in mint shape. That's basically just a plug and play replacement. I take the one that I have in the car on it now, pop it out and I pop that one in and I'll have a OEM tack which is fantastic and I also ordered the Indiglo gauge to go over it because I have that on the car now and it's one of the features that everybody likes on the car so I didn't want to lose those so I ordered a, a new set for for the gauges with the tack so those will actually be here on Monday so I can't wait for that but anyway as always guys thanks thanks for watching um, I'm sorry for the crappy episode but uh, things are gonna get very very good uh, within the next few episodes um like comment on the section below share the video talk about it send me any questions if you have any and i'm also planning to do maybe within the next few weeks a little live stream here on youtube for anybody who's interested let me know also if you'd be down for that um to just watch all the episodes in a row and just answer any questions that anybody has regarding the project but as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.